Welcome to Sweet Talk SLP. I'm Crystal and I'm a pediatric speech language pathologist. And for today's video, I am doing a review on a toy. But before we get into it, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. Also like this video and share it with your friends. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, I will be reviewing a toy. And the toy that I chose to review today is the Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Piggy Bank toy. And this is one of the newer versions. They do have an older version, but I'm going to review this for you today. If you're unfamiliar with this toy, I will tell you a little bit about it. It is a piggy bank. It contains 10 coins inside that you can fit into the slot. Each coin has a number and a farm animal on the other side. And there are two red, two yellow, two blue, two green, and two orange. It has smart stages. Stage one tells you the number of coin going in um, in English in order. So as you put them in, it counts them for you is what it does. And stage two counts them in both English and Spanish. I'm going to review this toy for you today using five parameters. I'm also going to share some of the ways that I use it and how I make it more functional for me in speech therapy. So my parameters for my reviews are storage, price, child response, functionality, and overall. So let's go over storage. It's not that big. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I am a traveling SLP. I work in home health and I work out of my car. And so it isn't that big, but it also doesn't stack very well. But I have a big trunk organizer and I have one section designated for toys of odd shapes. And so this one fits in there perfectly. I've never had an issue with the latch opening or maybe I have, but it's never been a big issue for me. And it fits in most of the therapy bags that I use. So the coins fit inside, you don't have to store them elsewhere. So pretty easy storage for our little pig friend here. Price, the price of the pig ranges from 15 to $16. I'm sure that it also goes on sale. I prefer buying things on sale and I'm pretty sure that I bought this on sale because I love a good sale. And I also don't love spending more than $15 if I don't have to. If you catch it on sale, I say it's a five out of five. It's pretty durable, it's plastic. You can clean it very easily, which I do appreciate. So the price point for this, I feel is very fair. Child response, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Most of the kids that have come across it, or I feel like almost every single one has thoroughly enjoyed this toy. So it's a very easy five out of five for me. Functionality. The toy by itself, it's okay, and I would say it's a four out of five, but in the ways that I use it in speech therapy, I would give it a five out of five. I'm going to tell you why. First, you can use the coins inside. You can use it for numbers. You can use it for colors. You can talk about the animals on the coins. Now, I do wish that the pig told you the animals as you put them in the slot. It's not that smart of a pig, unfortunately, um, but you still can follow directions putting it in the piggy bank. It is a very cause and effect type toy. So I do enjoy it for that reason. But oftentimes I remove the coins and I don't even use them at all or I mix them with other objects. And excuse my AC, I usually try to film with it off, but it's really hot outside and I just, We'll deal with it together. Um, Shelby the SLP on Instagram talked about placing her Bjorn speech sound cue cards in here because they fit perfectly. So I do that with some of my kids. Now granted you're only using a couple cards at a time because you don't use them as a set of flashcards, but they do work well, you know, and sometimes if I'm working on say front to back sounds, um, I may have the sounds for every for the front and back sounds that I'm working on or whatever vowel sounds I am working on um, for that particular day. So these are a great addition to working on speech sounds and then you can move these around the room to collect them. If you also have Adventures in Speech Pathology, these little flashcards, they also fit in here very well. Now, these, both of these cards won't activate the little counter the way the coin does, but it is still fun to see them in here and to pull them back out. So. These are also a very great choice because you pick the letters that you're working on. For example, the ones that have our N and initial and you can just stick them in here. Um, and then with the door closed, you can kind of see what's inside. And the third thing I like to use with my Piggy Bank toy are my Lakeshore magnets. I think they're the alphabet sound match 
pictures or sound pictures. And so mine are an older version, I believe they've updated them, but these do fit in the slot very nicely. And if you get it in the right spot, it does activate the counter because they are um, just as thick or a little bit thicker than the coins that come in here. For some of my early learners, I might use some easy nouns, ball, key, train, dog, cow. I might also go through my magnets to pick speech specific sounds such as, uh, let's see, uh, key and cow um, for making those k sounds. I also have cone, um, so I may fiddle through them to find some very specific ones and either place them around the room or I have a magnet board where I stick them in and then of course eventually we do um, put them in here and then sometimes I use all of them. Um, I have some kids that love labeling all of the pictures in there and making sounds for some of the animals so I do enjoy putting those in here. So for all of those reasons because I can expand on the use of the pig functionality for me is a five out of five. Overall Five out of five, it's a five out of five across all the parameters. It got a five out of five for me with this piggy bank toy. I remember using the older version of this toy and I liked it very much. I don't own it. It was at a clinic that I used to work for, but this one works just great. I'm able to use it with other objects, which is really great. You can push the nose for some songs, the coins come with it. And you know, it's a really good learning toy to use in speech therapy, to use at home to engage children of a lot of ages. You know, I don't just use this with my younger kids. I do use it with some of my older kids when we're working on some speech sounds. And it has been a big asset in my speech therapy bag, uh, in my travel speech therapy bag. So I do recommend this toy. Do you have this Fisher Price pig? Or I feel like I've seen some other toys that maybe you feed coins into a mouth. Um, I'd love to know, and I'd love to know your thoughts on those other toys. I don't have any of those other ones. I only have the pig. But if those would work with, you know, my cards and my magnets, I would really consider buying another toy similar to this just to have the variety um, and different animals for the kids so that they have different choices. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, I hope that you'll consider subscribing, like this video, share it with your friends. Also ring that notification bell. You'll be notified of my weekly uploads. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.